the Chavan civilization, flourishing from approximately 900 BCE to 200 BCE, holds a pivotal place in the chronicles of ancient Peruvian cultures. Originating in the highlands of the Andes, the Chavin people crafted a sophisticated society that left an indelible mark on subsequent Andean civilizations. The Chavan heartland, marked by its economic resilience, cultural innovation, and spiritual profundity, laid the groundwork for the development of complex societies in the region. We hope to contribute to a deeper understanding of the Chavin civilization and shed light on the enduring impact of Chavin de Huantar on the tapestry of ancient Andean cultures. As we embark on this journey, we invite readers to join us in unraveling the enigma of Chavin, exploring the complexities of their civilization, and appreciating the enduring legacy of Chavin de Huantar. The emergence of the Chavin civilization around 900 BCE marked a transformative period in the Andean highlands. Originating in the Chavin de Huantar region, this civilization rapidly evolved, creating a complex societal framework that extended its influence across vast stretches of the Andean landscape. The early Chavan society emerged in response to both internal developments and external stimuli, gradually consolidating into a powerful cultural force. Chavin's rise to prominence was not isolated. Rather, it unfolded against a backdrop of cultural and technological exchanges with neighboring communities. The Chavin people, through their adept agricultural practices, harnessed the fertile soils of the highlands, enabling surplus food production and population growth. This demographic expansion served as a catalyst for the establishment of organized settlements and the formation of a distinctive Chavan identity. The Chavan civilization's geographical location played a crucial role in shaping its development. Nestled in the heart of the Andean highlands, Chavin de Huantar served as a nexus for various ecological zones fostering biodiversity and allowing the Chavan people access to a diverse range of resources. The availability of metals, agricultural products, and other essential goods laid the foundation for economic prosperity and cultural flourishing. As the Chavan civilization expanded, so too did its cultural and artistic expressions. This period witnessed the development of a unique iconography characterized by anthropomorphic and zoomorphic figures, later becoming emblematic of Chavan art. The emergence of monumental architecture, such as that found at Chavin de Huantar, reflected not only the prowess of Chavin engineers, but also the spiritual significance ascribed to these monumental structures. The Chavin civilization did not exist in isolation. Instead, it engaged in dynamic interactions with neighboring cultures, fostering a complex network of influence and exchange. The exchange of goods, ideas, and artistic styles played a pivotal role in shaping the Chavin identity and contributing to the cultural diversity of the Andean region. Evidence of cultural exchange is discernible in the art and artifacts discovered at Chavan de Huantar. Shared motifs and symbols, reflecting a syncretic blending of cultural elements, suggest a level of interconnectedness between Chavan and neighboring societies. The Chavan people, through their interactions, absorbed external influences while also disseminating their own cultural innovations, creating a mosaic of shared practices across the Andean landscape. Furthermore, the Chavan civilization's expansion and influence were not confined solely to artistic and cultural realms. The Chavin people likely played a role in shaping regional politics and power dynamics through alliances, trade relationships, and the spread of their religious practices. The echoes of Chavin influence reverberated beyond the immediate vicinity of Chavin de Huantar, leaving an indelible mark on subsequent Andean civilizations. The economic foundations of the Chavin civilization were grounded in a sophisticated understanding of the diverse ecological zones surrounding Chavin de Huantar. The Chavin people engaged in extensive trade networks, exchanging goods such as agricultural produce, textiles, and metallurgical products with neighboring communities. This economic interdependence not only facilitated the acquisition of essential resources, but also contributed to the diffusion of cultural practices and ideas. The Chavin's mastery of agriculture, utilizing terrace farming and irrigation techniques, allowed them to harness the diverse microclimates of the Andean highlands. The cultivation of crops like maize, potatoes, and quinoa not only sustained the burgeoning population, but also provided surplus resources for trade. The strategic location of Chavin de Huantar, at the crossroads of various trade routes, facilitated the exchange of goods and cultural influences between coastal, highland, and jungle regions. Metallurgy played a pivotal role in the Chavan economy, with skilled artisans producing intricate gold and silver ornaments. These metallurgical creations not only served as markers of prestige and wealth, but also became valuable trade commodities. The Chavin's expertise in metalworking contributed to their economic prosperity and enhanced their standing in regional trade networks. Chavin de Huantar 
the epicenter of the Chavan civilization, occupies a strategically significant position in the Callejon de Conchucos Valley of the Ancash region, Peru. Nestled within the Andean highlands at an elevation of approximately 3,180 meters, 10,433 feet, above sea level, the site is surrounded by towering mountain peaks, lush valleys, and winding rivers. This unique geographical setting played a crucial role in shaping the development of Chavin de Huantar and the civilization it represented. The topography of Chavin de Huantar is characterized by the convergence of three rivers, the Huachexa, Mosna, and Huachexa. This confluence not only provided a reliable water source for the Chavin people, but also contributed to the fertile soils of the valley, facilitating agriculture and settlement. The site's location at the crossroads of various ecological zones allowed the Chavan civilization to harness the diverse resources of the Andean environment. The surrounding mountains, including the Cordillera Blanca and the Cordillera Negra, not only served as natural barriers, providing a degree of isolation and protection, but also influenced the flow of winds and weather patterns in the region. Understanding the geographical nuances of Chavin de Huantar is essential for comprehending the environmental challenges and opportunities that shaped the daily lives and cultural practices of the Chavin people. The challenging Andean environment necessitated adaptive strategies by the Chavin people to sustain their burgeoning population. Terraced farming, an agricultural technique employed by the Chavin civilization, transformed the steep slopes surrounding Chavin de Huantar into productive fields. These terraces, Meticulously built along the contours of the hills, not only prevented soil erosion but also maximized arable land, allowing for the cultivation of a variety of crops. Maize, potatoes, quinoa, and other Andean staples formed the backbone of Chavan agriculture. The cultivation of these crops required an intricate understanding of microclimates and altitude variations. The Chavan people's ability to adapt their agricultural practices to the diverse ecological zones within their reach highlights their profound connection with the land and their skillful navigation of the challenges posed by high-altitude farming. Moreover, the Chavin civilization implemented sophisticated irrigation systems to optimize water usage in agriculture. Channels and canals, designed to capture and distribute water from the rivers, were integral to sustaining crops and supporting the growing population. The mastery of irrigation techniques not only attests to the Chavin people's environmental adaptability, but also underscores the importance of water management in their agricultural success. The geographical features surrounding Chavin de Huantar exerted a profound influence on the cultural and religious practices of the Chavin civilization. The natural landscape, with its imposing mountains, fertile valleys, and flowing rivers, was integrated into the cosmology and symbolism of the Chavin people. The mountains, in particular, held spiritual significance for the Chavin civilization. Peaks such as Mount Huansan and Mount Huascaran, visible from Chavin de Huantar, were considered sacred possibly serving as focal points for religious rituals or astronomical observations. The Chavan people, attuned to the cyclical patterns of nature, likely incorporated these natural features into their religious beliefs, reflecting a harmonious relationship between the human and divine realms. The rivers, with their life-giving waters, not only sustained agricultural productivity but also played a symbolic role in Chavin culture. Water, seen as a source of vitality and purity, may have been integrated into ritualistic practices at Chavin de Huantar. The design and layout of the site, with its ceremonial plazas and water features, might reflect the Chavin people's reverence for the elements and their desire to create sacred spaces in harmony with the surrounding geography. Chavin de Huantar's architectural layout stands as a testament to the meticulous planning and spiritual significance embedded in the design of this ceremonial center. The site, covering approximately 14 hectares, is organized around a central plaza, where various structures and monuments converge. Understanding the overall layout is crucial for unraveling the ceremonial and societal functions of Chavin de Huantar. The central focus of the site is the iconic Old Temple, surrounded by a circular plaza. This core area is connected to other structures and galleries through a network of passageways. The architectural arrangement, with its deliberate alignments and orientations, suggests an intricate understanding of celestial events and underscores the spiritual importance of Chavin de Huantar as a nexus between the earthly and celestial realms. At the heart of the old temple lies the Lanzan monolith, an awe-inspiring sculpture that stands as one of the most revered artifacts of Chavin de Huantar. Carved from a single block of granite, the Lanzan monolith measures approximately four, five meters in height, and features a complex array of anthropomorphic and zoomorphic elements. 
This imposing sculpture is strategically positioned in a subterranean chamber, symbolizing the underworld and serving as a focal point for religious rituals. The Lanzan monolith is characterized by its unique iconography, depicting a central deity with feline attributes, surrounded by serpents and other mythical creatures. Its symbolism remains enigmatic, prompting scholars to speculate about its role in Chavan religious beliefs. The meticulous craftsmanship and symbolic richness of the Lanzan monolith exemplify the artistic and spiritual sophistication of the Chavan civilization. Surrounding the Lanzan monolith is the circular plaza, a carefully designed open space that served as a venue for ceremonial gatherings. The circular plaza is flanked by a series of stone platforms and smaller structures, contributing to the overall symmetry and alignment of the site. This architectural arrangement suggests a deliberate effort to create a sacred space conducive to communal rituals and religious observances. The old temple, situated at the center of the circular plaza, is a multi-level structure with intricate carvings and reliefs. The temple's facade features anthropomorphic and zoomorphic figures, showcasing the Chavan people's artistic prowess. The old temple is considered a masterful example of Chavin architecture, reflecting not only their engineering skills but also their commitment to creating a sacred space that resonated with spiritual energy. Chavin de Huantar is renowned for its extensive network of subterranean galleries and passageways, adding an additional layer of complexity to its architectural marvels. These subterranean spaces, often referred to as the Tunnels of Chavin, are characterized by their labyrinthine layout and intricate carvings. The purpose of these galleries remains a subject of scholarly debate, with theories ranging from storage areas to ritualistic spaces. The subterranean galleries feature relief carvings of mythological beings, animals, and supernatural entities. The use of these spaces in religious ceremonies is suggested by the presence of ventilation shafts that allowed for the diffusion of psychoactive substances, enhancing spiritual experiences. The tunnels of Chavan represent an intriguing dimension of the site, inviting further exploration into the spiritual practices and ceremonial rituals of the Chavan people. One of the most fascinating aspects of Chavan de Huantar's architecture is its acoustic properties. The circular plaza and the old temple were meticulously designed to manipulate sound, creating an immersive auditory experience for participants in religious ceremonies. The intentional use of stone carvings and architectural elements, such as the famous cabezas clavas or nail heads, contributed to the generation of specific acoustic effects. The cabezas clavas are stone carvings featuring disembodied heads with drilled holes in the mouth area. Positioned around the circular plaza and old temple, these carvings are believed to have been strategically placed to enhance the resonance of ritualistic chants or musical instruments. The resulting acoustics may have played a significant role in creating a sensory-rich environment during religious ceremonies, heightening the spiritual experience for participants. Chavan artistic achievements are characterized by a distinctive iconography that prominently features feline and anthropomorphic imagery. Felines, often depicted with elongated fangs and stylized features, held a central place in Chavan religious symbolism. The prevalence of jaguars and other big cats in Chavin iconography suggests a profound connection between these animals and spiritual beliefs. Anthropomorphic figures combining human and animal features further define Chavin artistic expressions. These hybrid beings, often portrayed with elaborate headdresses and ceremonial attire, are believed to represent deities or shamanic entities. The integration of human and animal characteristics in Chavin iconography reflects a complex worldview that intertwined the natural and supernatural realms, emphasizing the spiritual significance of the animal kingdom. The intricate use of symbolism in Chavin iconography extended beyond visual arts to include textiles, pottery, and architectural reliefs. Understanding the meanings behind these symbols is essential for unraveling the spiritual and cultural dimensions of Chavin society. Chavin's expertise in metallurgy is exemplified by the creation of exquisite gold and silver ornaments. Skilled artisans crafted intricate jewelry, including nose rings, earrings, pendants, and headdresses adorned with symbolic motifs and intricate detailing. These ceremonial adornments not only showcased the Chavin people's mastery of metallurgical techniques, but also served as markers of social status and religious significance. Pottery, while serving practical functions, also bore witness to the artistic prowess of the Shavan people. Ceramic vessels featured elaborate carvings and relief work, depicting scenes of mythology, animals, and ritualistic activities. The Chavan civilization's dedication to creating aesthetically pleasing and culturally significant pottery reveals a society that valued both functionality and artistic expression.
The integration of Chavin iconography into textiles and pottery further emphasizes the interconnectedness of artistic representations across different mediums. The intricate patterns and symbolic motifs found in textiles and pottery provided avenues for cultural transmission, allowing the Chavin civilization to convey its beliefs and traditions through visual language. Chavin's stone carvings and sculptures stand as enduring testaments to the mastery of stonecraft achieved by this ancient civilization. The monumental stone sculptures found at Chavin de Huantar, including the Lanzon monolith, showcase the Chavin people's ability to manipulate granite with precision and artistic finesse. The Lanzon monolith, carved from a single block of granite, is a prime example of Chavin stonecraft. Its intricate detailing featuring anthropomorphic and zoomorphic elements demonstrates the sculptor's ability to convey complex iconography on a grand scale. The carvings on the lands and monolith and other stone sculptures serve as visual narratives, possibly depicting mythological stories or religious rituals. Beyond monumental sculptures, Chavin stonecraft is evident in the smaller carvings and steles found throughout the site. The use of relief carvings on architectural elements, such as the cabezas clavas around the circular plaza, adds an extra layer of artistic sophistication to Chavin de Huantar. El Castillo, a monumental structure at the heart of Chavin de Huantar, holds paramount religious significance in the context of the Chavin civilization. This architectural marvel, rising above the landscape, served as the ceremonial center of Chavin religious practices. The construction of El Castillo reflects a deliberate effort to create a sacred space that connected the earthly realm with the divine. The architecture of El Castillo includes intricately carved stone facades featuring feline and anthropomorphic figures. The symbolic representations on the walls of El Castillo suggest that it served as a focal point for religious rituals and ceremonies. The elevated position of El Castillo within the site's layout, combined with its unique iconography, reinforces its role as a nexus for spiritual activities within the Chavin civilization. Chavin de Huantar was not merely a physical settlement but a sacred space where elaborate rituals and ceremonies unfolded. The circular plaza, with its open design and alignment with celestial events, likely served as the primary venue for communal gatherings and religious activities. Rituals at Chavin de Huantar were diverse, involving music, dance, offerings, and possibly hallucinogenic substances. The intricate acoustics of the circular plaza, enhanced by the strategically placed cabezas clavas and other architectural elements, played a crucial role in the ceremonial experience. The soundscapes created in this sacred space may have been integral to inducing altered states of consciousness during religious rituals. The careful orchestration of sensory stimuli contributed to a heightened spiritual experience for participants. Shamanistic practices were likely central to Chavin religious life, with shamanic figures playing a vital role as intermediaries between the human and divine realms. The depiction of shamans in Chavan iconography, often wearing animal headdresses and engaged in trance-like poses, suggests a connection to visionary experiences and spiritual journeys. The Chavan people may have employed psychoactive substances, such as the San Pedro cactus, to induce altered states of consciousness during rituals. Shamanic practices could have involved the use of these substances to facilitate communication with the spiritual world, seeking guidance or divine insight. The Chavin civilization's emphasis on shamanistic practices highlights a deep engagement with the metaphysical and a belief in the transformative power of spiritual experiences. The Lanzan monolith, housed in the subterranean chamber of the Old Temple, emerged as a focal point of Chavin religious devotion. This towering granite sculpture with its unique anthropomorphic and feline features is considered a representation of a central deity in the Chavin pantheon. The presence of the Lanzan monolith in a carefully constructed underground space suggests its role in private or exclusive religious ceremonies. The cult of the Lanzan likely involved rituals and offerings to appease or commune with the depicted deity. Pilgrims and religious practitioners may have sought the blessings or guidance of the Lanzan, engaging in ceremonies that connected them to the divine forces embodied in the monolith. The symbolism embedded in the Lanzan's iconography, including serpents and supernatural beings, hints at a complex cosmology that permeated Chavin religious beliefs. The Chavin civilization left an enduring legacy that resonated across the Andean region, influencing subsequent cultures for centuries. The distinctive artistic styles, religious symbolism, and architectural innovations of Chavin de Huantar served as a cultural beacon, inspiring and shaping the development of later Andean civilizations. The iconography of feline and anthropomorphic figures prevalent in Chavin art, 
became a recurring motif in the artistic expressions of cultures that followed. Pre-Inca civilizations, such as the Moche and Nazca, incorporated Chavan-inspired themes into their own artistic traditions. The adoption of Chavan symbols by these cultures speaks to the enduring impact of Chavin iconography on the visual language of the Andean region. Chavin de Huantar, recognized as a UNESCO World Heritage Site, has been the focus of extensive preservation efforts to safeguard its unique archaeological and cultural heritage. The site's significance extends beyond its role as a historical relic, as ongoing excavations and research continue to unveil new layers of information about the Chavan civilization. Preservation efforts include measures to protect the site from environmental factors such as erosion and seismic activity, as well as initiatives to conserve the intricate stone carvings and structures. Advances in archaeological techniques, including non-invasive methods like ground-penetrating radar, have enabled researchers to explore hidden chambers and gain a more comprehensive understanding of Chavin de Huantar's complex architecture. Chavin de Huantar continues to captivate the imagination of contemporary society, transcending its historical context to become a symbol of ancient Andean civilization. The site's influence extends beyond academic circles, permeating popular culture, art, and literature. Artistic representations inspired by Chavin iconography can be found in modern Andean art, as well as in the works of contemporary artists seeking to evoke the spiritual and cultural depth of the Chavin civilization. The enduring fascination with the Lanzan monolith and other iconic elements of Chavin art underscores the timeless appeal of these ancient symbols. The interpretation of Chavin symbols and iconography has been a subject of ongoing debate among scholars, leading to various theories about their meaning and significance. The complex and enigmatic nature of Chavin art, particularly the symbolism found in the Lanzan monolith and other artifacts, has sparked differing interpretations. Some researchers argue that Chavan symbols represent a sophisticated cosmology and religious belief system, drawing connections between the natural world, spirituality, and ritualistic practices. Others contend that the symbols might have conveyed political or social messages serving as markers of identity or power within the Chavin society. The lack of written records from the Chavan civilization poses a significant challenge in definitively deciphering the meanings behind these symbols. The interpretation of Chavin iconography remains a dynamic and evolving field, highlighting the complexities inherent in understanding an ancient culture solely through its visual language. The social structure of the Chavin civilization is another area of scholarly contention and debate. The absence of clear evidence such as hieroglyphic writing or inscriptions makes it challenging to discern the intricacies of Chavin societal organization. As a result, researchers have proposed different models for understanding Chavin social structure. Some scholars suggest a hierarchical society with distinct social classes where elites held significant power and played central roles in religious ceremonies. Others propose a more egalitarian social structure, emphasizing communal cooperation and shared participation in religious practices. The interpretation of burials, architectural features, and artifacts contributes to these competing theories about the organization of Chavin society. The complexity of Chavin de Huantar's architecture and the presence of subterranean galleries have led to speculation about the existence of specialized roles, such as priests or shamans, within the society. The nature of these roles and their impact on social dynamics remain subjects of debate and exploration. The exploration of Chavin de Huantar and the broader Chavin civilization has uncovered a wealth of information that sheds light on the intricate tapestry of ancient Andean cultures. Key findings include the architectural marvels of Chavin de Huantar, with its unique layout, subterranean galleries, and iconic lands and monolith. The intricate symbolism and iconography found in Chavin art, characterized by feline and anthropomorphic figures, provide insights into the spiritual and cosmological beliefs of the Chavin people. The integration of interdisciplinary approaches and technological advancements has enhanced our understanding of Chavin culture, its social dynamics, and the challenges it faced. In conclusion, the exploration of Chavin de Huantar transcends mere archaeological inquiry. It is a journey into the heart of Andean culture, a testament to human creativity, spirituality, and adaptability. The enigma of Chavin de Huantar persists, urging us to continue unraveling its secrets and fostering a deeper appreciation for the intricate tapestry of ancient Andean civilizations.